Hi and welcome to this driving test in Birmingham. I'm with Rebecca today. Hello. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel now. But for now, let's get straight on with it. So, as before, we'll drive a full length test route. This one will involve the stand nav later on in the route. Um, so the same rules as before, just follow the road ahead at all times, unless road signs or markings direct you otherwise. If you want to turn left or right, ask you in plenty of time. Otherwise, just keep following the road. So first of all, can you tell me how you check your headlights and tail lights are working properly? You don't need to leave the vehicle, it's just to tell me. Uh, operate the switch and there should be green lights on the dashboard. That's and then it. I'll get out and walk around and see if they're all working. That's fine, that's good. Okay, so if you want to move us out of this bay. And we'll head up the same way as before, out the centre. Or if you can turn left just after the yellow gate. And at the end of the road we'll turn left. So the next road on the left, it's very hard to see, but it's just opposite where the red fence is. Just coming up here. And we'll take the next road on the right. On the left please, just before the black car on the road, leaving the room to pull away again but get quite close to it. It doesn't matter about driveways on this occasion. That's fine, I think. Okay, when it's safe, we'll carry on. If you want your window back down, you can, I know you do the windows. End of the road, we'll turn left. At the end of this road, we'll turn left.
the end of the road or turn right. Splits into two, I'll turn to the right. And about we'll go right, third exit. the next bump doesn't matter about driveways on this occasion anywhere between these bumps okay we're running safe we'll carry on At the end of the road, we'll go left. road on the left. Oh, 
advance and we're again driveways don't matter just for now. When it's safe, we'll carry on. Take the next road on the right. And at the end of the road, we'll turn left at the very end. Just somewhere kind of opposite where the yellow lines are. We won't be there for too long. Okay, we it's safe, we'll carry on. And at the end of the road, we'll turn left. We'll go right, third exit. On the left, there's a long piece of curb if you pull up just before that car is. That's fine. So, the rest of this test is going to be done with the sat nav. So, it's on. Can you see that okay from there? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so when you move off it will start working, just follow the directions. But if you're not sure, let me know, I can repeat them. Um, there is one part I'll help a little bit because it gives you a confusing direction. It's just left sketching. It doesn't always work on the first time. Turn left, yeah. then turn left. Turn left. A 
at the end of the road, turn left, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. After 300 yards, turn left. Turn left. After 300 yards, turn right. Turn right. So if you can pull up on the left, please, just somewhere around this area. I don't know this sign or... Okay, when it's safe, we'll carry on. When it's safe to do so, I'd like you to show me how you'd sound the horn. speed on the sand and by the way it's wrong because um, it gives the wrong speed limit. At the end of the road, turn right. Turn right.
After 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Can you put the pin on left, please, one more time, just around this area. Thanks, I'm gonna just move on whenever it's safe. After 500 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Exit, then keep right. When it says keep right, ignore that, it just means don't come off. So come off here, but you'll see what I mean later on when it says keep right. It just means don't come off the slip road. After 300 yards, keep right.
exits, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. Well, I just did that because you can't hear it because it's, it's on full volume, but it's very quiet. the roundabout and take the second exit. roundabout and take the second exit.
After 300 yards, turn right, then you have reached your destination on your right. So it's back into the centre, and they just again head for the bottom, bottom end of the car park. Mm -hmm. Turn right, then you have reached your destination on your right. You have reached your destination on your right. I'm going to go to the bottom end of the car park and do a reverse bay park. Mm -hmm. And this will count as your manoeuvre. So you want to finish between the lines, or you must finish between the lines. You can do it to the left, to the right, it's up to you. Any available bay. If you need to, just whatever you need to do, just, uh, just let me know when you're finished. The lines are hard to see, I know. Yep. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, let's turn off there. So what did you make of that? That one, I felt like a little bit better than the first one. Yep. Yep, so I'm pleased to say you've passed. No, it'll be good. I know you've already passed, but <laughs> yeah. that's, that's good. There's a few tiny things I'll mention, but that's, uh, that's a really good drive there. Um, the, I haven't pulled these on, because just so people know, you don't always mark this on the move, because you can't mark it when you're moving, so you have to mark it when you get back. Um, there's one thing for the other one. What did you say about oh, the, the roundabouts? What do you say? It can be better. You do need more, but there still could be more of that done. Uh, Where'd you have to look? In your mirrors? That's it. So sometimes when you come off, you're not doing that one. When it really counts, you are. Like, there's one on a big roundabout by a motorway that was good because you were checking it well and you came over well. There's one where you just on the maypole, you know, the last roundabout we did yeah. on the way back. Um, but if you notice when you was in the middle, a lot of people go ahead from the left lane. Yeah. You may have seen that in my videos, I don't know. Because the way you did, it looks like you've watched my videos. <laughs> if not, it's good. It's just that that's one thing I go over a lot in the videos. But there was a blue car shot straight on from the left lane. So if you look there more, look more there, I mean, you would see that more. You do need further on down the road where the bus line ended. Yeah. You did that well. But just checking out quite frequently. Because if they do force the way through as they often will, yeah. you have to be careful of that. Legally, you don't need that mirror. You only must have the right one and one of these two. So legally, you don't have to even have that fitted. Right. That's why you don't generally fail for not checking it, but you can do, it depends on the situation. Yeah, yeah, Because if it's fitted, it should be used, but you don't have to even have that mirror there. Yeah. Um, so a few other little things, the signal necessary, I can't remember whether it was, it was towards the beginning. Um, I don't know the mark that towards the very beginning. It was a minor thing, it was just to go out signaling. I'll try to remember what that is in a moment. And then the roundabouts will go right, third exit. The high speed road is good. What was a little bit awkward about that, you know, when we did that two sections of high speed road? I haven't put this on yet, but I'll put it on in a moment. So what was going on in front of us? Um, you know, when you came off that big roundabout and yeah. you said ignore the key right. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was going on in front of us then? There's nothing bad, but what was happening? 
Uh, the car wasn't going fast enough. That's it. So I should have overtook it really. That's it. If you go around or what else can you do? Back off. That's it. You weren't too close all the time, but sometimes you were. This is why on the video you won't see because of the way the lens is. It looks it looks distorted on the video. Things look further than they are and closer than they are. It's like a fisheye lens. But there's only a few times you've got to be close because how far back should you be minimum? Uh, two seconds. That's it. You were normally two, most of the way. There's a few times you got one and a half yeah. a bit close. So you could go around them or just keep back. It wasn't that bad you'd fail because if they were going quite slow, about 50 or something. But that was fine. It's just got to keep that distance more. Why is that so important? Okay, so they break hard. That's it. Some people will just do it. They'll just, if you're too close, they'll just slam it on the to try and annoy you. Um, or try and kill you more likely. But yeah, so it's better to keep further back. But I've now, the only little things, these are nothing you get marked on, but just so you know, when you pull over, normally we do handbrake, then neutral. Yeah. Because uh, I need to do neutral, then handbrake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what happens. Yeah. You don't have to do handbrake neutral, but why is that better than neutral handbrake? Um. Because we're on a hill and we roll backwards that's it, or... That's good. No. So you kind of secure the car, then then you're neutral. You don't get marked on it because it's such a small thing. As long as you do it both, it doesn't really matter as long as you do them. Um, but it's just we try and do a hand like neutral and the rest. Uh, the manoeuvre's good. You know, it's the first one, it was between lines. It's really hard to see the lines yeah, here. Yeah, faded. Yeah, very faded. <laughs> it is on the hill as well. It's really hard to do a uh, bay park on this one, but that was good. Um, I think that's all we need to go over. I always think of things after because it's easier when you watch it back. But I think that's all there was. The blind spot was a lot better. Yeah. So we did that. Um, if you yeah, haven't seen what you said, yeah. Yeah. If you haven't seen the other video, we did one before this, and uh, we was talking about the blind spot. Um, just the mirrors, like really changing direction. We got one or two marks for that, but you wouldn't fail on it. Um, it's funny, it's because if someone is there and cuts you up, you do fail on it. But if they're not there and don't cut you up, you don't fail on it. You think it'll be the same, but I've seen it a lot of times where they said if someone had been there, you'd have failed. It really should be the same either way, it should be you foul or you don't, but that's the way they mark it, at least around here. If, if there's no one there, you pass with it. But just make sure you check that because it will often force the way through. Yeah. If you watch this back, there was a blue, I can't think what the car was, a big blue car, forced the way through. I was going like that, sort of checking. And um, you can see the signal when, I, when people signal left, you can see it flashing in the body of the car. So if I don't see it flashing, I know they're probably going to go straight on. But yeah, so that's a pass, that'll be good. Yeah. But it's not easy to pass even if you've already passed. <laughs> so that's good. Anything else you want to go over? Is that okay? No, that's good, yeah. yeah. So again, thanks for watching. Check out these other videos on, videos on the screen now. And I'll see you again soon for more videos.